100 years ago, here in Bingham, discovered Machu Picchu. He didn't do it by hiking through the jungle randomly, but he had a Quechua speaking guide who asked the local people where the interesting cities are and eventually they just brought him here. So actually the local language brought him here and the local language brought me here too to learn a little bit of Quechua. So Quechua is a very interesting language. It's what linguists call an agglutinative language. So that's where you have a core word and you add parts to it, uh, which are called uh, suffix. You add these to it to expand on the meaning. So to give you an example, uh, check this out. Runasimeta rimankichu. This means, do you speak Quechua? Looks complicated enough, but this is actually made up of different units that help you to learn the language quicker and it's very interesting when you're reading or listening to the language that you can make these uh, components out and it'll help you understand better. So if we take the sentence and we split it up, uh, you can actually see the different parts. So for example we got runasimi and that actually is the Quechua word for Quechua um, and it comes from man speech and then ta is the, um, uh, it, it indicates the accusative, as they call it in, um, in language learning. It just means it's the object. So, you know, it's do you speak Quechua rather than Quechua is good. So there you have Quechua as an object. And then next you have Rima, which means uh, speak. And then Ki, which is the second person singular conjugation. In other words, you speak. And then chu, which indicates it's a question. It turns this whole sentence into a question. Uh, and um, uh, interestingly enough, the chu particle is actually, it exists in Esperanto as well, to turn a, a sentence into a question. The reason it is for there is actually from Polish, uh, chi, I think it is. But you can see, if you understand each of these different components of the words and the questions, you can learn the language a lot, a lot quicker, because you start to you learn the building blocks and from there uh, anything is possible even a complicated word starts to make sense when you know the different parts of it um, so with that in mind I had some basic Quechua after just a couple of weeks and um, I can show you a little clip of it now of me just trying that out with the locals Irlanda man, tan hamushen. Chang. Irlanda man. Pai kung kai wini ay awe mukal ko yung kai ko. Kompanya ay puna. Imainata. Imainata. Wai kungki. Wai kungki. Kimi kunata. Kim kimi. Kimi kunata. Kimi kunata. Imukai ko ay kuku ko. Chakay konjabi. Chile po ay kuku ko. Yam tawon. Yamatahawa, <laughs> 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 Riku Sunkis Chinchero, Jack Tai Kichista. And I win I Awaiwasi.